Hey people, welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Adesa Chimsum. So people, it's a cooking video today. Yeah. And I will be showing us how to make opa. Yeah. It is a dish prepared by the Igbo people in Southeast Nigeria with a type of beans known as bambara nuts. Yeah. So this dish is common in Enugu State, Nigeria. Anyway, let me allow you to watch the video, guys. So at this point, you just stir, stir, stir. That's after adding the oil to the bambara nut or the powder, okay? But then you must have a standby kettle of boiling water. Yes, emphasis on boiling water. For you to make your bar, you have to have or use a boiling water. Okay, it must be boiling, and also you must have your pot and fire for cooking it, and it must be boiling too. Anyway, keep watching. Like I said, it should be looking like breadcrumbs. Can you see that now? It's already looking like breadcrumbs and that's okay, that's perfect. At this point, I have to add a little bit of oil because I said that I want mine to be oily. Not too oily, but at least oily, okay? If you're making yours, this is perfect. But this particular one, I want it to be oily, so I'll be adding more oil. So at this point, we are adding the boiled water. So we are going to be adding this bit by bit, but I want us to take note of this. When you turn off your stove or your cooker, after boiling the water, you should allow it, allow it to sit for just two minutes. Okay, just two minutes is perfect before pouring it bit by bit into the upper mixture. All right? So, after pouring the first batch of the water and mixing it thoroughly, your opa should look something like this. If it's not looking like this, then there's something wrong. And after that, we keep on adding more hot water bit by bit until we get the perfect consistency that we want, okay?
So we're almost getting to the consistency that we desire. And at this point, we'll be adding salt and pepper, just these two ingredients. Okay, that's what we use to make this okba. Your salt and your pepper. But if you have the fresh pepper, you should use that, the, the scotch bonnet pepper, right? You can use that, but I don't have that. And that's why I'm making use of this um, tri pepper. So you keep adjusting when you put your what the hot water, you put the salt, you put the pepper, and adjust for taste. You keep testing it here. Yeah, you can test your bubble down. You don't have to swallow it anyway. So how do you know when we've gotten the right consistency? Just like I did in the video, you dip one of your finger into the upper mixture. And when you see that it's trans it looks transparent, you can see your finger through that. That means it's ready. So your bar doesn't have to be too thick too thick or too watery just the perfect consistency like i showed you here in the video you always use your finger to know when it's right so i'll be using the nylon and this um thread i need the local way yeah that's perfect and make sure you have your boiling water in the pot already okay Yay! And after 45 to 50 minutes, our opera is perfectly ready. Can you see that, guys? Can you see that? It looks so yummy. Yeah, and it also tasted so yummy. It should just look perfect like this. Shouldn't have, um, shouldn't be too soft, shouldn't be too strong. Just perfect. This was just perfect. Okay, bye. I'll see you in my next video.